उसके ऊपर महाराष्ट्र एकीकरण समिति ने एक आंदोलन रखा था लोकतांत्रिक आंदोलन था किंतु कर्नाटक की सरकार ने उसको परमिशन नहीं दी हमारे यहाँ से भी कुछ नेता वहाँ जाना चाहते थे उनको भी परमिशन नहीं दी गई तो हम ज़रूर इसके ऊपर कर्नाटक की सरकार से बात करेंगे कर्नाटक के मुख्यमंत्री जी से भी बात करेंगे क्योंकि दोनों राज्यों ने तय किया है कि आवाजाही पर कोई रोक नहीं है और शांतिपूर्ण अगर आंदोलन हो रहा है तो उसको भी रोकने का कोई कारण नहीं है हम हमारे सीमावर्ती मराठी भाई बहन जो है उनके साथ हमारी सरकार खड़ी देखिए वहाँ के सी एम साहब ने गृह मंत्री जी के सामने स्पष्ट रूप से कहा है कि ये जो ट्वीट्स थे वो फेक हैंडल से किए गए हैं वो उनके नहीं है उनके ऊपर वो कार्रवाई भी करने वाले थे क्या कार्रवाई हुई हम जरूर पता करेंगे मुझे ऐसा लगता है मैंने इसका जवाब दे दिया है जब फेक हैंडल है तो वो कैसे डिलीट करेंगे उन्होंने उसकी कंप्लेंट दी है अरे भाई अशोक चौहान कुछ भी आरोप लगा मैं थोड़े जवाब दूंगा उसका जवाब तो उनको देना है असा है कि विरोधी पक्ष अपना अस्तित्व दाखने का प्रयत्न करते मोर्चा हा नैनो मोर्चा ठरला या ठिकाणी कुठे तरी मला असं वाटतं की आत्मचिंतन करतायत आणि म्हणूनच आपलं अस्तित्व मोठ्या प्रमाणात मीडियाच्या माध्यमातून गेलं पाहिजे असा त्यांचा प्रयत्न आहे खरं म्हणजे हा मोर्चा मी नॅनो मोर्चा म्हटला तर त्याच्यावर शिक्कामोर्तबच काल एक प्रकारे मराठा मोर्चाचा व्हिडिओ त्या मोर्चाचा व्हिडिओ दाखवून जो संजय राऊतांनी ट्विट केला त्यातनंच हे लक्षात येत आहे की त्यांचा मोर्चा नॅनो होता Images of protests that were held by Marathi groups goes on to show how the opposition's protest was a minuscule one. This is the reason why the Marathi is the only one who 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 is the only one. The Marathi is the only one who 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 is the only one. अतिशय विभत्स अशा प्रकारे त्याच्यावर आपलं मत व्यक्त केलं आपल्या पेपरमध्ये छापलं आणि आता पुन्हा तेच लोक त्याचा व्हिडिओ ट्विट करतात आणि मग नंतर मुजोरी करतात की एम बी एने तो मोर्चा काढला होता आम्ही त्याच्यामध्ये होतो त्यामुळे हे मराठा समाज सहन करणार नाही Aghadi Aghadi is trying to portray as if the protest is theirs, but they have been tweeting out images and pictures of protests that were held by the Maratha community. मी काल ही संगित कि लोकायुक्त विधेयक को व्यक्ति नजरेसमोर नहीं उद्या लोकायुक्त विधेयका That was Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra Devendra Fadnavis there. Remember, the winter session of the Assembly is on in Nagpur, uh, from where the Chief Deputy Chief Minister is reacting from. Mihir continues to be with me, and Mihir, uh, we're seeing the kind of protests that have taken place at the border uh, of Karnataka and Maharashtra. The MES, which is the Maharashtra Ekikaran Samiti, huge numbers, uh, supporters gathered there, but they were all blocked from entering Belgavi, where the Karnataka's Assembly session is underway. Absolutely, the Maharashtra Ekikaran Samiti was having a huge kind of uh, uh, a big uh, show out there. They were having some sort of event out there uh, for which many of the people from Maharashtra were going to attend. In fact, uh, uh, even MPs and MLAs had uh, tried to get some sort of permission and protection to ensure that they could uh, attend that particular meet of sorts but uh, that was declined apart from that what we are seeing that several uh, activists as well as people from Maharashtra this side of the border wanted to attend that 
part of being uh, Karnataka and they were restricted uh, and threatened uh, in many ways and that is something that has been condemned uh, not only by the opposition but also now we are seeing uh, Devendra Fadnavis coming out and saying that uh, during that meeting with the Home Minister where the two CMs uh, and the top leaders of the two states met uh, after after this kind of issue erupted uh, between the two states, uh, it uh, it was decided that uh, there will be no uh, sort of restrictions as far as movement of people from across the border is concerned. But that has not been maintained now. For which they will approach uh, the CM of Karnataka and try and understand what was the reason that these kind of strict actions were taken against people who are trying to go on the other side of uh, the border and trying to do their uh, daily affair or be a part of that particular uh, meeting of sorts uh, by the Maharashtra uh, Maratha Ekikaran Samiti. Uh, so these are the questions that are unanswered but uh, the, the government has made it stand clear that they are not going to uh, stay silent and just watch uh, this entire episode. They will go and seek answers from uh, the CM of uh, Karnataka. They will try to resolve it and that was the reason why uh, a Home Minister Amit Shah was brought in between two to uh, broker peace between these two warring uh, states on the on the issue of border, uh, that is something which was also uh, spoken about by Ekna Chinde today, uh, saying that uh, it is for the first time that a home minister of a country has, uh, in a, in a sense, uh, tried to come in between and broker peace between two warring states. So clearly, uh, efforts are being made, efforts are being taken without really resorting to any sort of violence. Uh, but the allegation by the government is that uh, the opposition is resorting to some sort of tactics to pressurize them, to make their presence felt and also to an extent uh, instigate uh, and incite uh, people uh, for on this particular issue uh, whereas the government is doing its bit, it's taking every measure it is doing uh, whatever it takes to ensure that there is peace harmony as well as uh, none of the people from uh, the Mara Maharashtra state or uh, the Marathi speaking crowd in Karnataka are harmed or threatened or restricted in any way.